Welcome to the Gano Girls YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about aloe vera, which is an annual birth control ring. If you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on so you know when I post new videos. For those of you who don't know, my name is Taylor and I am a physician assistant and I work in OBGYN. So, aloe vera, like I said, is a new birth control ring. If you take a look here, it's nice and soft and squishy and it goes right into the vagina. So, let's take a quick view on the pelvic anatomy. So if we take a look here, this is the opening to the vagina and this is the vaginal canal. The opening and the vaginal canal are a little bit bigger in this model just so you can see how the ring sits. So if you see underneath the ring here we have the cervix. If you take a look right here it looks like a little jelly donut with a hole. Then we have the uterus, we have the fallopian tubes and these little white things that look like almonds. These are our ovaries. So for the ring the ring, like I said, is nice and soft and squishy. This is considered a LARC, or a long-acting reversible contraception. This falls into the class with IUDs and Nexplanons. The unique thing about this is the patients have complete control over this, where with the Nexplanon or the IUD, we have to go into the gynecologist, we have to have a procedure to have it removed, and a procedure to have it inserted. Where this, the patient has, again, complete control. So we're going to simply squeeze it, and push it up the vagina, just like we would insert a tampon. So depending on your pelvic anatomy, the ring can either sit up here, kind of coiled around the cervix, or it can actually sit vertically in the vaginal canal, kind of up top, if you can see here. So what's really unique and cool about this um, ring is the hormone composition. So this is a combination of estrogen as well as progesterone. So I use progesterone in quotes because when we talk about birth control, it doesn't actually have straight progesterone in it. It has a derivative called progestin. So progestin could come from progesterone itself or it can actually come from testosterone. So a lot of birth controls on the market, the NuvaRing, which is similar to the Anovera ring, the um, Nexplanon, the IUDs, and a lot of the combination oral pills all have progestin that is derived from testosterone. So when that happens, that can lead to a lot of what we call androgenic side effects. So it's a fancy term for side effects such as weight gain, acne, male pattern hair growth in the facial area, and then balding and thinning hair on the head. When the progestin is derived from progesterone itself, we don't have those side effects. So the aloe vera ring is a great option for those who are suffering from polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS because PCOS is a very androgenic disease. So women already suffer from those symptoms. It's also a great option for those who are suffering with obesity, with weight gain, with diabetes, and acne. Another thing that's unique about this, if we take a look here, if you look really closely, you can see these little holes in the ring. Those house these rods. The rods are what release the hormones. So it's also very similar to an Explanon or an IUD. The hormones in this Anovera ring are enough to last a full year or 365 days. So unlike the NuvaRing where you have to change the ring out every single month, go to the pharmacy, get a new ring, this is one ring for one year. So it's really convenient for the patients we're only going to pick up one prescription that's gonna last us an entire year. There's a couple ways that you can use this. So the traditional way is you keep the ring in for three weeks, take the ring out, and then reinsert it for another three weeks, and you do that cycle each month for an entire year. So you're getting your traditional period when we remove that ring. For women who have heavy periods, really painful periods, who are suffering from PMS symptoms each month, we could actually keep this in for three months at a time. So this is what we call the 84-4 cycle. So you can keep it in for 84 days, take it out for that last week, get a period, put it back in and start that 84 day cycle over again. So instead of getting your period every single month, you're only getting it, like I said, every three months.
have to do when you remove the ring is clean it with lukewarm water and a little bit of soap. So you don't want to put this in really hot boiling water. So a lot of people when you clean your Diva cups, if that's what you're using when you're on your period, which yes, you can use when you do use this ring. That's a question I get often. But we always tell you to boil that Diva cup to clean it and to get rid of that bacteria. You don't want to do that with this ring because you're going to destroy the hormone levels if you boil it. So again, lukewarm water with a little mild soap and then you're just going to dry it off and then reinsert it. I get this question a lot. You can have intercourse with the ring in. It's not going to cause harm to you or to your partner. It shouldn't hurt or be uncomfortable, but if it is, depending on your pelvic anatomy, you can remove the ring, but you cannot keep it out for more than an hour at a time. So that's really what's unique about this ring. Again, one ring, completely patient controlled. You have um, the option to remove and insert whenever you want. You have the option to skip your period every single month, like I said, for that three month cycle. And it has a lot less side effects. Now, this is a birth control, so even though it has a lot less side effects, there are some side effects that do come with it. So things to look out for is increase in your vaginal discharge. So because that ring is sitting up into the vaginal canal, sometimes your body can produce a little extra discharge. If that happens, it's very normal, but if it is something that's bothersome to you, talk to your GYN. Of course, you can have some mood swings as well, some anxiety, some depression, so if you feel like that's happening to you, please reach out to your GYN and talk about different options. Otherwise, this is a pretty well-tolerable birth control. It has a very um, small incidence, only about 5% chance of breakthrough bleeding. So breakthrough bleeding is bleeding or spotting when the ring is still in the vaginal area. So really small chance, like I said, only about 5% if you compare that to other birth controls such as combo pills or the IUD or the Nexplanon, those are higher. Um, those can be closer to 10 to even 15%. So really low side effect profile. Patients really love this option. It's a great option for those, you know, for convenience. Let's say you're traveling a lot. You don't have to be worried about finding a pharmacy where you are to pick your script up. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. If you have questions, comment, and I will reply.